मुझे बहुत गर्व होता है कि आज मैं उस वीर भूमि में खड़ा हूँ जहाँ श्रीमंत राजे शिवाजी का ये वीर भूमि है और एक राजा होने के नाते जो कि आज कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अलाउ नहीं करता मगर एक पारिवारिक संबंध होने के नाते इतना कहूँगा उनका प्रणाम करे बिना मैं अपने संबोधन को चालू नहीं कर सकता भाइयों जब मैं छोटा था तो हमारे स्कूल की जो दो पंक्तियां थे मैं आपको बताना चाहूंगा स्वदेशी पूज्य थे राजा विद्वान सर्वत्र पूज्य थे अ किंग इज ऑनर्ड इन इज ओन कंट्री बट अ लर्नड मैन थ्रू आउट द वर्ल्ड दिस वॉज वेन आई वॉज वेरी यंग आई लॉस्ट माई फादर इन अ वेरी यंग एज माई ग्रैंड फादर वॉज किल्ड इन द पॉलिटिकल सीनैरियोज पीपल थाट विल नेवर कम इन टू पॉलिटिक्स being a youth there was life threatening for me but now i am in front of you because i want to be the change and i want to see the change in the politics so that a youth can come and empower this nation and make this nation as one of the biggest nation in the world the topic which was given to me by rahul ji a bit different but i would like to incorporate with lot of aspects which i have gone through democracy has always never been when i was young as one of the student just referred that there were elephants horses this were the family which i belong to and i have seen the changes which india has come and we have been seeing it the globalization is undeniable truth that we cannot go let it go and we can just not say that we cannot be a part of globalization we have to be the we have to be the part of it and we have to strengthen it i would like to sell one of the incidences with my ancestors did 7 700 years ago they opened up a small parliament known as adivasi parliament which was organized at bastar which is one of the naxal prone zone of india we are facing lot of problems and lot of our government officers police military people are dying and at the end indians are dying and we are trying to build up uh, why i am relating all this to you a bit out of the subject but these are the very big nation issues which are faced and the prime minister earlier manmohan singh said it on the red fort that we are facing internal security problems but my friends we are trying our level best the people from bastar from bijapur we do, we construct a road it is destroyed the next day we build up some road the people are killed in some seconds we are having such big security problems but i would like to congratulate our dr raman singh ji the chief minister of chatisgarh as well as prime minister narendra bhai modi for his effort and the security is taking place and there are lot of places which we have done up with the roads and we will hope to develop certain places of bastar so that we can come up with lot of power we have natural resources like none we have nmdc which is providing iron ore we have all type of resources available at bastar we have corundum diamond you name it resources are there but the problem is we cannot explore it because of the internal security problems which we are facing now in case of india when we take globalization as a subject india and developing country in all over the india we have seen when the new economies come a bigger economies come we face a lot of problems the problems are related to the internal security and there are lot of things which we need to do our farmers and small entrepreneurs and working people are likely to suffer to end i would like to take two big examples one is the question of environment if there is a problem in our environment we see the change or we see the effect in some other country if there is some change in their environment we see the changes in our environment the same happens with the culture when the western culture comes to our country or any country they dominate their own culture in the other state we need to take a way out which is which i should propose in this august gathering 
is we should create an international agreement. An international agreement where we should take the pros, the merits of the places which we want to do, and we have to take precautionary measures to take out the cons so that we make India one of the largest and the bigger power in the coming future. To end my speech, I would again like to remember one of the youth icon never before, Swami Vivekanandji, what he said to the youth. Rise, stop, ne stop not till the time you achieve your goal, and one day we will become some big power. And one more message as a youth, I would like to give it to all the youth present here. Humko, ek cheez yaad zaharu rakhni hai ki aaj hum sabko affect karna hai ki aage chal ke hum baat aage bada sake. Uske liye aap sabko ek ek kadam aage bada na hooga. Aur iske liye mein ye kehna chahunga, Suraj ho zindagi ke aapko utna hi chamakna padega. Aap doob bhi gaye, mar aapki chamak jarur chhoda jayega. Dhanne vaad.